Sure. Um, I, I was diagnosed uh, shortly before Mother's Day in uh, 2011. when I had been told I had early stage breast cancer and that I would require to have a, a mastectomy, a double mastectomy. Um, after about three months of going through that experience and healing, I'd asked my doctor what I could do in order for this not to come back. I'm a mother, I have kids. You know, that was not the end point for me. Um, he strongly recommended that I um, have a healthier lifestyle and that I include exercise and a better diet plan into my lifestyle. So when the doctor had told me uh, choose something, I didn't know what that something was going to be. I, I literally didn't know. I was starting from a blank slate. I had done some sports in grammar school, not a college athlete, not a high school athlete, didn't know where to go. Um, so I stopped at a, a, sports, a sporting goods store, started looking around, and it's very overwhelming. There's three floors of the store. You don't know what you could start with, what, what makes sense for you. I remember seeing like um, golfing and went, um, tennis, maybe, uh, there was a kayak, and I said, that's only going to happen three months out of the year for me, being in the Chicago, um, and I, I walked past the, the running area, and there was this really powerful image of this woman that, um, from, you saw her back, and she was running down just uh, a, a single lane, like a country lane, and it had a, either a sunrise or a sunset, I'm not sure what it was, but it was just a very peaceful look, and that one. I want to be that one. So I got myself a pair of running shoes and went home that day and put them on and ran a whole block. <laughs> and uh, every day started going a little bit further from there. I told my husband I couldn't understand how anybody in the world would ever run. This is the most painful thing that I've ever done. It was even as painful as some of the surgeries that I had had um, going through breast cancer. And he said, tomorrow we're going to start. We're going to go on a, we're going to go on a little five miler, he says. And I'm like, how how about one mile? I mean, that seemed like a duck, you know, that was just impossible feat to me. Every Sunday, he and I would go out for a little bit further, a little bit further. September, I had decided I want to run my first 5K, which was at the end of September. He said, absolutely, you can do it. And I did. I finished. I felt like that was a marathon. And come around the December time frame, Jim and I were just having coffee one morning. He said, you know, you could do the marathon. I think I can. And so I, we went and I knew the February starting or the sign up date was on my birthday and uh, signed up and crossed my fingers and I got in and I said, happy birthday to me. We're doing the marathon. Oh crap. We're doing the marathon. <laughs> Jim and I have been together for a very long time. We started dating in high school. We dated um, through college. Um, and although we had a lot of fun and we had a you know, similar interest in friends, at the time when you grow older and especially when you have kids, some of those similar interests obviously go to the wayside. Um, so we were having, you know, our dates, dates, in a grocery store, you know, talking about what rice we're going to buy and, you know, and, you know, a new recipe to bring home. But we didn't really have a lot of time together. Um, and running did that for us. One, because when the decision was made that I was going to do the marathon and, and he said that he was going to do it with me, that meant that he was going to be my coach and we were going to run alongside each other for very long periods of time um, at very early hours of the morning. It was us, you know, and we got to talk about things that we haven't talked about possibly in a long time or ever, and it really did. It strengthened our marriage, you know, when you have that focus of your health and your well-being and then that resonates back to your partner who also has that same similar focus, that now became a new thing for us to have and we continue to have it and it's great, you know, two years later we're still running at least once a week together. And, when people ask me, you know, how do you start? Where do you start? And it, you have to answer that. You're going to have to find what that is that motivates you and, and gets you moving and makes you a healthier person. But try something. Try anything. It really does make a world of difference. And running a marathon, as much as I hear, not everybody can do it. Really, anybody can do it. If you want to do it, you can do it. I can. You can.